Hey everybody, Ariel Adams here with a blog to watch. Today I'm going to review the Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean 39.5 millimeter, 600 meter summer blue edition. This is part of the brand's anniversary for the Seamaster in general, which came out in 1948. Uh, the Planet Ocean uh, a little bit later, of course, but they came out with what they called the Summer Blue uh, series, which was um, at least 10 watches, and we wrote about it on the Blog to Watch website. This was one of them. And in their own way, they had this sort of blue on blue pattern. They have these um, special engraved case backs here. Normally this would have a, a, an open case back. So this is an anniversary watch, but it is also indicative of other versions of the 39 and a half millimeter wide Planet Ocean that just have um, small differences and small different prices and things like that. This is uh, the smallest, I guess you could say, men's size of the Planet Ocean uh, that Omega currently makes uh, right now. Um, and, you know, you could call it a mid-size watch. It, it wears... Um, small for a dive watch and small for Planet Ocean, but there's a lot of demand for this size. So this is sort of a compromise model. And the reason I say compromise is that I personally, even though I do have smaller wrists, um, still prefer the larger version of the, uh, the Planet Ocean, which was about sort of in the 43 millimeter wide range is uh, for me the sweet spot, though they get much larger than that. Of course, there's the ultra deep models, which are the biggest ones. And for me, proportionally, they make a little bit more sense, but you still get all the performance here in this under 40 millimeter wide uh, package. And what I mean by that is you have the 600 meters of water resistance. It is a thicker case. It's just over 14 millimeters thick, but it does have that full 600 meters of water resistance. Not that your human body will need that. Um, it does have the manual helium release valve same type of dial. Um, I feel that, again, the proportions work a little bit better in a larger size, but this is a great suit watch. There are a lot of people that, for whatever reason, want to wear a sports watch with a suit on a regular basis, and uh, if you wear blue suits a lot, I just thought this was like really a star, because this dial style has really been around uh, since the 1950s, I believe, and it's so, um, it, you know, iconic at this point that it's basically dressy and formal, even though it is essentially a sports watch, and so you could pair this um, with a suit, and the sort of blue on blue tone um, has less contrast, even though it's very legible, than say, you know, something with an orange hand or an orange bezel or something like that, uh, which is, you know, something you'll see on a lot of other uh, planet oceans, and that might not work as well for a suit environment. Uh, the movement inside of this watch is an in-house made uh, caliber 8800. That is the uh, coaxial master chronometer running at three and a half hertz. It is not the most advanced because Omega has since come out with some four hertz versions of the master uh, chronometer, uh, but still is really a great operator. It's meta certified. Um, it's got all that anti-magnetic uh, resistance and things like that. So this is really a fantastic movement series. Um, I just wish that they would just bump it up to four hertz, just get that over with. But again, super minor thing. Um, it's still, uh, you know, basically part of master chronometer is uh, chronometer rating. So this is going to be an accurate watch. I'm just sort of nitpicking. Um, the case back is nice, to be honest. I, I think this sort of Poseidon on his chariot with seahorses thing, it's very Omega for sure with the whole kind of Greek thing. But it would have been nice to see the movement inside um, of the watch. Um, so, oh, I wanted to make sure that I pointed out that on the bracelet, there is the micro adjust here. There's still some plastic here. And the way that works is you, you press that in with your finger. Um, you can move it in or out. A little bit here um, and again that's just a nice little feature to have that has been on um, a lot of Omega watches lately and uh, definitely um, <clears throat> a quality thing so let's put it back on the wrist here oh, I may have tightened it too much um, again that is just under 40 where's a little bit bigger because of those crowns the thickness prevents this from feeling too um, small of a watch so if this was a significantly thinner watch it would feel a lot uh, slimmer for sure or a lot smaller on the wrist um, Going back to the blue on blue tones there, that is a ceramic rotating bezel, of course. And the dial is actually also made out of a ceramic material, though it's finished very, very differently. And I think that Omega did a very skillful job uh, with these colors and, and matching them for the Summer Blue series. So not all of them work as well. For example, I don't think the Aqua Terra models look quite as nice as this blue on blue for the Planet Ocean. Uh, but the other one, which is really the star, is the, the Ploprof. <laughs> that is a, a, a super... Uh, cool one there uh, that, that is also part of the Summer Blue collection. Um, that's, you know, pretty much all there is to say uh, about the Summer Blue. Uh, again, the Planet Ocean is a fantastic collection from Omega that um, it's, it's, it's a good looking sports watch. Omega is hampered a little bit because they're going off of a 
iconic design, which means they can't really update the design too much. Um, and I really want to see them play with this more in the future. So we'll see what, what Omega does. But the Planet Ocean is definitely a classic. This summer blue edition costs a little bit more than the standard models um, and retail price for this um, Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean 39.5 millimeter 600M summer blue, $7,400. And you can see the full review on a blog to watch. Thanks.